Hello and welcome to another episode of the Expertly German podcast, the podcast to learn German. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Episode des Expertly German Podcast, dem Podcast zum Deutsch lernen. And in today's lesson, I have Luisa again in the call, in the, in the lesson. Um, Back by popular demand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so a couple of uh, listeners were sending me an email saying, where is Luisa? I like the, the podcast episodes with Luisa because... Well, I guess the dynamic uh, kind of is fun to listen to. And also when you're trying to speak German and then I'm trying to correct you. You mean I'm but sucking at my German. When you're yeah. sucking at your German. And then, but the questions you are asking seems to be exactly those questions that listeners are also asking themselves when listening to the podcast. So this is what we're going to do. What are we talking today about? Worüber sprechen wir heute? Reisen. Wir sprechen heute über das Thema Reisen. Ähm, wir sind irgendwann mal ein bisschen durch die Welt gereist. We traveled around the world a little bit uh, some time ago. Äh, und so sind wir auf die Idee gekommen, äh, diese Episode zu machen. And this is how we got the idea to do this episode. And there are two things that Luisa oftentimes struggles with, which is the preposition nach and in when uh, talking about I am flying to England. So we use nach for most of the countries and all cities. However, there are some countries like uh, die Niederlande, die Türkei, die USA, die Schweiz, die Ukraine. Those are countries that have a Uh, an article in front of them. So then we say, ich fliege in die Schweiz. I'm flying to Switzerland. Even though if I just say I'm flying to Germany, I would say ich fliege nach Deutschland. So there are very few countries that have an article in front. And this is when we use in when going to that country. And we use nach for all other countries as well as Uh, cities. So let's practice this a little bit. Um, how would you say um, I am going to Germany? Ich gehe nach Deutschland. I was going to say Frankreich. <laughs> ich gehe nach Deutschland. Ich gehe nach Deutschland. So what we're also practicing at the same time is how to say country names. So ich gehe nach Deutschland is I'm going to Germany. And how would you now say I'm traveling to France. Ich reise nach Frankreich. Yes, ich reise nach Frankreich. And how would you say now I'm uh, driving to Switzerland? Ich fahre mit dem Auto nach, mm, not nach, in die Schweiz. In die Schweiz. Schweiz. A, a sharp Z at the end. Ich fahre mit dem Auto in die Schweiz. Exactly. And how would you say the same sentence with uh, England? Ich fahre mit dem den Auto. Dem, M. Because mit is a dative preposition. And after mit, you always use uh, uh, the dative case. So, so mit ich, dem Auto. Ich fahre mit dem Auto nach England. Yeah, ich fahre mit dem Auto nach England. And how would you say I'm taking the train to Spain? That even rhymes, that was not on purpose. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, ich fahre mit dem Zug nach Spanien. Ja, ich fahre mit dem Zug nach Spanien. Exactly. I'm driving with the train to Spain. So we, we would say it like that. Yeah? Even though we are not the person in charge uh, driving the train, we are saying that. Could you say like, ich gehe mit dem Zug? No, you could say, ich nehme. Just a little reminder, I just launched a 10-week program that teaches you German. There are two programs available, one for A1 levels and one for A2 to B1 level. And the good thing about this program is that I will send you material, videos, homework and quizzes throughout the week 
when you join the program. And then in the weekly group session, we will discuss the topic that I've sent you per email. So this is a great way to learn by yourself and also to learn it with others and with me and practice speaking, but also learning the grammar at your own pace. I think this is really valuable for people who kind of want to emerge themselves more into the German language in various ways. And the program is also priced pretty well. So go to my website, expertlygerman.com and click on 10 week program. I take ich, the train, ja, but you can't say I go with the train. So exactly. Ich nehme den Zug. Den Zug. Ich nehme den Zug nach Spanien. So okay. train. I take the train or I drive with the train. Yeah. So because ich nehme den Zug, we don't have a preposition here. That's why den Zug is in the accusative. It's the direct object. Yeah. Okay, let's practice some more difficult countries. Uh, how would you say the USA together with, for example, I'm traveling to the US or to, to, to you know, to the USA uh, in order to meet friends? Okay. Uh, so the USA is a the, so it's got to be the, the in die rather than nach. So ich reise in die in die USA. Mm -hmm. Ich reise in die USA, um, um meine Freundin zu sehen. Um meine Freunde zu sehen. And to visit is um meine Freunde zu besuchen. And you did a very difficult grammar topic. Oh, well, actually not that difficult, but the, I'll keep the grammar. The you can carry on. Uh, yeah. The um and zu means in order to. So if I want to say in order order to i don't know eat i need to buy food you have to put the noun in between um essen zu kaufen it's a different topic now um essen zu kaufen muss ich in den supermarkt gehen in, in order, order to buy food i have to go have to to, to yeah so the um and zu that is kind of like the in order to one more time with that example um essen zu kaufen, gehe ich oder muss ich in den Supermarkt gehen. Ja. Okay. Oder um Essen kaufen zu können. You could also uh, say that in order to be able uh, to buy food. Yeah, so the um zu is uh, something that uh, some clients uh, struggle with that as well. But let's go back to the countries. Um, how would you now say I am visiting uh, Turkey? How do you say visiting? It's the same that you would just say with uh, like visiting friends. friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's like, I'm going to see friends. Is that the same? You yeah. don't have a word for visiting? Besuche. Besuche. So, also besuchen. So, uh, sorry, where am I going? <laughs> uh, Turkey. Turkey, okay. Um, ich, ich gehe in die Türkei. Uh, um meine Freunde zu sehen oder zu besuchen. Ja, ich gehe in die Türkei, um meine Freunde zu besuchen. Ja, we wouldn't really say, ich besuche die Türkei. You could say that, but it's less common. We would more say, ich reise uh, für den Urlaub in die Türkei. So like some of these... Indie versions, I get, because it's like the USA, mm -hmm. the Netherlands, so, but I don't really get like the Turkey or... Yeah, I did, that doesn't really... There's no rationale well, to yeah, when it's... At least I don't know the rationale behind it, but there might be someone who knows what the rationale behind it. Send me an email. But an interesting one is, it's an article and in is a two-way preposition. So if I say I'm traveling to Switzerland, it's accusative, but how do you say... I'm living in Switzerland. Would that not just be Ich lebe mm -hmm. in die Schweiz? No, almost. Ich lebe in der Schweiz. Oh. Because the in is a two-way preposition. The uh, and here we have the dative. Don't say hate the cases. I hate they're the lovely. Cases. They, I hashtag they, hate the cases. <laughs> <laughs> a hashtag. Can you remind the listeners about the cases in German? Not just the four, just the names of the four. You don't in have German, to, yeah. accusative, yeah. nominative, yeah. dative, and genitive. 
Ja, richtig. Nominativ, Akkusativ, Dativ und Genitiv. Which and ones do we hate the most? I would say I hate the dative the most. That's that's the one. The dative is sometimes just a genitive is I don't know, not too difficult. It's all right. The accusative, accusative and dative. I think those are the two cases that are like ah, it oh, would gosh. life would be a lot easier do without it with a German them. German accent. Though. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. So. Okay. So the point here, however, was that when you are not moving, right, when you're located or something like when, when it's about where rather than where to, then you use after the two-way prepositions and one of them is in the dative case. So ich lebe in der Schweiz. But you'd also say ich wohne in Deutschland. Richtig, correct. So it's no different for the ones that don't have this article right in front of the country. It's only for these weird ones that have got the D in front that you need to think about this. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And some of them are actually using the plural. So I think you say in den USA, dative plural, uh, and in den Niederlanden. Uh, so then we have the dative plural. Let's not worry too much about this. There's always one. <laughs> There's always one. Okay, so now maybe let's uh, talk a little bit more German. Let, well, we could talk about all sorts of topics, but I would say we just talk a little bit about our travel that we did in German. Um, and whilst we're talking, I'm trying to correct Luise a little bit, not too much. So, also, wir sind für sechs Monate gereist uh, in 2019. Um, und uh, wo haben wir dann angefangen mit unserer Reise? Okay, good. Gute Frage, Tom. Uh, so what I think you just said was, we went traveling for six months in 2019. Yeah. Where did we start our travels? Yeah, richtig, genau. Angefangen, is that start? Angefangen, that's angefangen. the perfect, that's the past of to start, anfangen. Where did you start, okay. Um, so would I say, wir haben ja. unsere Reise ja. in Austria? No, you have a funny word for in Austria. In Österreich. Österreich, I knew it. In Österreich. Um, ange like ja, angefangen. angefangen, ja, oder begonnen, you could also say, oder angefangen. gestartet. Angefangen, <laughs> stick with angefangen. Okay. okay, is that right then? Ja, richtig. Um, wir, und haben. wir haben unsere Reise in Österreich angefangen. Ja, no und... Man. Und das war in Wien. Wir waren, ich glaube, für zwei oder drei Tage in Wien und danach ja. sind wir dann weiter nach. Genau. Danach sind wir dann weiter nach. We continue then to. <lacht> I was like, what? Um, weiter ist to uh, again and or to so continue. Von Österreich oder Wein in Österreich. Von Österreich. Um, wir haben Gehen nach uh, Rom. If it's movement and change, we, wir sind nach Rom gegangen. But I think you have your, uh, did we go to Rome? I mean, details, Tom, details. We went pretty much to Rome. <laughs> I don't remember. No, we went to Greece. We went wir, to Greece. wir sind nach Athen. But they don't know that. <laughs> All right, and it's a long time ago. So, nach Österreich oder nach Wien oder von Wien von sind wir nach Athen uh, geflogen. Athen geflogen. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot here to just. Can we just? Because I feel like this is really yeah. useful for me, past tense. Yeah. So, uh, uh, wir sind von Österreich nach Athen geflogen. So, the past participle here of uh, fliegen is geflogen. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and so why do I why do I say wir sind geflogen rather than wir haben geflogen? Because we moved. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we moved. Movement and change and blah 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 so, blah. We use sein. So when we started the conversation about where did we start, it was wir haben uh, unsere Reise uh, in uh, Österreich angefangen. Yeah. Then it's haben. Yeah. And then we're moving to like von Österreich, wir sind, wir sind von Österreich, oh, wir sind von Österreich nach, 
Italien. A Italien. Athen. Oh, meine <lacht> Griechenland. Ad fine, Athen geflogen. Ja, richtig. Okay, Correct. so the sentence structure changes and that's because we sort of said, this is where we started and then this is where we've Richtig. We move to. Richtig. Ähm, und dann haben wir äh, drei Wochen oder vier Wochen, ich glaube, drei Wochen in Griechenland verbracht. And verbracht is the past participle of verbringen, which is to spend time, Zeit verbringen. Wir haben drei Wochen in Griechenland verbracht. So the ich verbringe Zeit, das I spend time, und ich habe Zeit verbracht, means I spend time. So now my question is, was haben wir in Griechenland gemacht? Mm, was haben wir in Griechenland gemacht? Mm, wir haben in Griechenland, would you be able to say something like, in there you'd like insert stuff, and then you'd say gemacht. Ja. Yeah. Okay, so the insert stuff part, let's just look at that. Um, so you could, I don't know, we, we went to an island. You could say we visit, we, we, we went into museums and uh, museums? We, took a, we took a ferry. Is that right? Museum? Yeah, das Museum. Das Und Museum. plural die Museen. It's a very long sentence, isn't it, then? It's very long, yes. It lists like two or three things. German language always has long sentences. Yeah, no words. Okay, so let's try that with the insert stuff in there then. Yeah. So it would be, wir haben in Griechenland Muse like how Museen besucht. Museen besucht. Museen besucht. <lacht> äh, wir haben in Griechenland Museen besucht. Wir sind mit äh, der Fähre gefahren und wir haben am Strand gelegen. Und Essen gegessen. Ja, und viel Essen gegessen. And then the last word, right? No, that's already it. The gegessen and the besucht and so on. This is already... I'm basically, I set a main clause and then I just put an und, right? Wir haben bla 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 gemacht und bla 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 besucht und bla 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 gegessen. Yeah, so you just add a next sentence and a next sentence with the und. Right, and we don't need to put like gemacht at the end. No. Cool. Because you, I mean, you do say that, but not the gemacht for all of the sentences. Each of the main clause has its own verb. Right, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so we, we are not going to go through the whole travel. Maybe we do some more on that on our other episodes just so that we have something to talk about in German and I can teach you and annoy you with the German grammar a little I mean, bit more. I mean, the implication I get here is that we don't and... have enough to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so let's recap a little bit what we uh, learned today. And I leave the recap oh, to you. thanks. So generous. Yes. Are you so generous in German? Uh, großzügig. Oh, obviously. Okay, so um, I feel like the main things that I've got out of the session today is I'm a bit clearer about saying like ich gehe nach Frankreich um, and ich gehe oder ich reise nach Frankreich um meine Familie zu sehen. Yeah. So saying a sentence that I like I'm going to a place and how I'm going to get there. I've got a few vocab yeah. qualifications. Um, and then also, which are the funny countries, as I will call them, where ja. they've got the D option. Richtig, ja. Also manche Länder haben einen Artikel davor. Die Türkei, die Niederlande, die USA, die Schweiz und noch weitere die Länder. Die Ukraine. Ja, und die Ukraine. Uh, and we also learn some verbs. Fliegen, reisen, gehen, fahren, besuchen. Fahre mit dem Zug und fahre mit dem Auto. Ja. Fahren mit dem Zug, ich fahre mit dem Zug, ich fahre mit dem Auto. Then we learn some pronunciations of some countries. I don't know. Can you say England again in German? England? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult. We say it slightly different. England. And we also say, we say Großbritannien. You also say the United Kingdom really funny. I have to find that on the list. Das Vereinigte Königreich. The United Kingdom. Maybe we could do another episode at some point to say how to say uh, British or or German and so on, because then it's in many countries different. Uh, 
um, like der Franzose, the French person, it's different to Frankreich and so on. Anyway, we didn't learn this. Um, and then what you said, basically the um zu, the in order to, and we just recapped a little bit, us talking about uh, traveling a little bit, how to say sentences in the past and how to structure them. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode today, that you learned a little bit of uh, German and that it was fun as well. Ich hoffe, ihr habt ein bisschen Deutsch gelernt und dass es auch Spaß gemacht hat. Luisa, did you learn some German today? Hast du etwas Deutsch gelernt heute? Ein bisschen. Nein, ein bisschen. Perfekt. And if you like to continue to learn German, then I have a 10-week program. You can go to my website expertlygerman.com and find out more about this program. So, cheers, guys and bis bald.